Hi guys, it's Hef, I'm back in and this is going to be a haul. Uh, this is going to be quite a biggish haul across a lot of different stuff, but at several different times. So, um, just, just to be clear about that. <laughs> so, I will start with the small bit. Um, I was in Aldi's yesterday doing the shopping. Well, it was yesterday when I was filming this. Um, and they had some new mineral makeup in um, and something else. So, I thought I would buy them and try them out. I have not even opened these. Where is my blade? I can't see my blade. Um, so the first one is this lipstick this is called lovely there was literally two colors of lipstick this one's a nice navy kind of color it's, it's a little on the sheer side but you know not bad for everyday wear I'm sorry if the light is a bit naff um, but we have storms it's raining um, and as I've said before, I use natural light. I don't like using a lamp. Um, so, sometimes on days like this, the, the, the light in the video is not the best. But I am filming in front of a very large window, and I've pulled the blind up so that I get as much light as possible. So, I'm sorry if it's a little bit gloomy looking. But frankly, it's a little gloomy here. Um, the other lipstick is this one. This one is called After Dark, which is a much vampier kind of colour. Oh, and much bit more pigmented. Ooh, I like. That looks really nice. I like that. And the other thing in their makeup collection is their mineral foundation. Um, this only comes in like three colours. Light, medium, um, no, light, tan. I only saw it in two, I think, which was light and tan. Um, it's only full to here. Oh, I just, you can clearly tell I had not pulled it out of the pack. I have no idea if this is actually light enough for me because, of course, I couldn't swatch it. It's actually sealed. I'm not actually going to open it. Um, I might do a first impressions on it and see what it's like. I'm still yet to find a foundation I really, really like. And the last thing I saw was this Lacura brush set. These are natural bamboo hand handles with synthetic nylon bristles. Um, you get a blush brush, eyeshadow shading brush, eyeliner brush, lash and brow groomer, and a foundation brush. Now, honestly, I don't apply foundation with a brush very often. I don't like the way that it looks. Um, this has got one of those stupid... You know, they make stuff so that you can't actually steal stuff out of the pack. But then it's almost impossible to get the packaging open. Especially for especially, especially for us package challenge ladies. Um, these actually remind me a lot... And I wouldn't be at all surprised if these were not made by the same people who make eco tools. Like the whole packaging thing and the way they look and feel is very much like the bamboo bamboo eco tools that I actually have. That's a nice stiff, dense uh, makeup, like foundation type brush. Um, this is not what I would use as a blush brush. I just use it as a powder brush or to like sweep away underneath the eyes. Not the softest brush I've ever used, but it's not, none of them are terrible. Um, I quite like the look of the eyebrow groomer thing. It's kind of got that taut, almost like a tortoise shell type of look, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, so. I haven't actually tried them out because, as you saw, I hadn't taken them out of the packaging. The eyeliner is a little bit thicker than I would actually like in the middle. It's like, it's thinner on each end and it's fatter in the middle. I don't really like that. Um, the shader brush is not too bad. Um, I definitely use that to pack colour on the lid 
um, or sometimes if I'm doing my concealer, I do it under the eye like that. So, um, the other makeup and type stuff, uh, we went to, sorry, it's all in the bag still. We went to uh, Chemist Warehouse. Um, I picked up the, the makeup browns. I often pick up makeup browns even if I don't really need them, especially if they're not particularly expensive. These are 2 by 100 normally. They come in packs of 80, so the ones I buy from La Cura. And these worked out about the same as two packs of 80 La Cura, so I figured that was worth it. Um, and then I picked up this anti-wrinkle day cream. I'm basically out of day cream. This is from Oil of Aloe. Um, and it does have sunscreens in it, and it's got aloe vera, so I thought that would be interesting. Never actually um, tried it. It's made by Lendlock International. No idea what that's like. But I also picked up some Garnier Skin Active Ultra Lift um, SPF 15 Daycare. Quite like Garnier stuff, so I figured I would try that one. And one of the things with Chemist Warehouse is a lot of stuff is super discounted. Um, the other thing I picked up is from uh, Thursday Plantation. A whole bunch of different brands, but this is the one I picked up because price-wise it was the best. This is rosehip oil. Now the reason I picked this up is um, I keep on seeing that um, hint that Wayne Goss talks about, about using a bit of oil when applying foundations, particularly on slightly mature skin. Um, to make it look better and I actually tried it for the first time today using the rosehip oil um, and foundation is not my favorite I prefer a BB cream I prefer how it feels on my skin but I have to say even though it is a very light cover of foundation I use the body shop foundation that um, is in one of my projects and got from Tamara J and it actually went on much nicer and doesn't look anywhere near as cakey as I think it normally looks. And I also used it to blend out my concealer. And I think it actually worked really nicely. I think it it made it go on more smoothly and it didn't feel like... It tends to feel like it's sinking into all of the pores, but the rosehip oil helps to puff the, look, pull, um, the lines and stuff out so it doesn't sink in quite so much. There's still some places, even though I'm using a pore filler... Um, primer. There's still some places like on my chin that don't look great when you're up really, really close. Look in the camera. You can't tell. Uh, it's only when I look in the mirror that I can actually tell. But um, I picked up two lipsticks. Um, these are Elizabeth Arden lipsticks. I think I actually have one of these colours already. But these are, these were like $8 for an Elizabeth Arden lipstick. Um, so one is, see, this is, this one has obviously been opened. Okay, so on the bottom of the container it says Perfect Cassis, and on the bottom of the box it says Perfect Blossom. Um, yeah. And this looks like it got whacked in the top of the lid. It's a bit messy. But this is actually not a bad colour, and I just smeared stuff all over the back of my hair. I smeared the other lipstick. Um, obviously, the Lacura one doesn't set. It's just really like, I mean, it's not meant to set. It's not a matte lipstick, but yeah, you want to block that. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting colour. I quite like that. It's the kind of colour I used to wear back in the day all the time. Um, I will probably, even though it's basically just been smashed in the lid. Um, and the other one is actually completely sealed. So it should actually be the one it says it is, which is Perfect Flamingo. It says Perfect Flamingo on the bottom. I think this is the one I already have. Super duper bright pink. That's so pretty. I like that colour. Um, quick look at my collection tells me that yes, that is actually the one I already have. But that's fine. It's Elizabeth Arden. And it's a really pretty colour. So, I also, because this is what I do, I bought some nail polish, because it was on sale, um, and I wanted it. <laughs> Go figure. Um, I generally, if I'm going to Chemist Warehouse, I generally only buy nail polishes that are in the 
extra reduced. So they're not particularly expensive. They came as well house to start with and then they reduce them further. Um, I don't have swatches of any of these, so this one was only a little bit reduced. Um, this is the Sally Hansen big peel off base coat, which I've wanted for ages. I just haven't bought it, so. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I bought that one. The next one is this Sally Hansen Magnetic. I have a couple of other magnetics from this line, but this one I don't have. This is Ready Response. This is kind of like the purpley reddish kind of one. So I got that one. Um, I got this Maybelline Color Show Bleach Neon. I have a few other ones from this same collection, but I don't have this one. This one is Tropic. So I picked up that one. This is the pink one. Even though it's a bleach knee and it's still making my camera freak out. And then I picked up five from the Revlon um, line. Two of them are top speeds. So we have this one here, which is electric, which is a yellow kind of colour. And this one, which is called jaded, which is a green colour. Go figure. I don't know what those ones are like, I haven't put them on my nails. Um, I got this one here, which is called Timeless, which is kind of, it's kind of a grey, basically. It's just a grey. It kind of goes with um, Chic and Mischievous. It has the same kind of thing. And then we have Blue Lagoon, which I couldn't not buy. This is a shimmery light blue. It's quite looks quite bright in the camera. Um, it's a bit more muted than that, but it's got um, silver and blue micro glitters in it by the look of things. And the last one is magnetic, which is actually what I am wearing on my nails. I chunked this one, that's why it looks a bit weird before it had dried. <laughs> So this is magnetic. It is a pink base with purple and blue glitters in it. It's actually really, really gorgeous. Um, it kind of colour shifts a little bit um, when you tilt your hand, when you tilt the nail. It looks a little bit different. I haven't got any top coat on it, which is why it looks a little bit dull. Um, but it's not super chunky or anything, but I think it's going to be a pain to get off, basically. So that was everything from uh, Chemist Warehouse. And lastly, more fun things for the nails. Um, mostly, anyway. Uh, I recently, in Adelaide, like the weekend that's just been, um, there was a craft show down at the Wavell Showgrounds, which my mum works on the Embroiderers Guild table for a few hours, so I get to wander around and like look at stuff. Mostly it is scrapbooking stuff and quilt making stuff and like patchwork type stuff. Which are not really things that I'm super duper into. I like looking at them, I just don't do them. But sometimes the things that they have are suitable for nail art. Like they can be used in that same kind of way. And I was very much on the whole looking for a particular feel. Um, I have a particular manicure that I'll be doing in the next few days. So a lot of this stuff was geared towards it. With a few other things that just happened across. Um, one of the things is one of the sites which is create a memory for you, um, they had like a booth, um, when you bought something they um, gave you this like little pack of stuff and I wasn't really sure what was in it at first because I didn't really look too closely at it. But basically it has a um, piece of ribbon with purple hearts on it a little um, paper clip type thing. And then in the little bag, there are a whole bunch of little teeny tiny um, clear, does not want to focus, oh, clear buttons. There's a few of those little clear buttons. Um, there's also a wooden button thing, a flutterby, little butterfly, 
And then there's these two. There's like five of the little clear buttons, but there's these two little. They're made with sequins, sort of sewn together to make like a flower with a sparkly thing in the middle. It's kind of cool. The little seed beads. Kind of cool. Um, yeah, so that was a freebie for buying stuff from one of the sites. Um, and I think most, a lot of this stuff I actually got from the same, like the retailer that I got that from. Um, I often buy things from them because they have this, I'm just putting things back in the container before they go flying everywhere and I lose them. Um, they often have lots of, they do scrapbooking stuff mainly, um, and a lot of the stuff that they do is suitable for nail arty type stuff because it's uh, sort of small enough. I mean, they have big stuff as well, but, but they had some really good deals going. So they had these, uh, they're kind of like, um, they're a bit like Millie Fiori's used to be, but just straight lines. Um, but they're flat backed, so they're little, they're little plasticky things with stripes on them. But they're actually, they're not beads. They're actually flat backed, so you can like just stick them onto things. And then they had, these were probably the smallest they had of these, um, the kind of things that you'd use for like steampunk type looks. So they're just little metal gear things. These are the smallest ones they had, which is why I got them. And then they had this stuff that's like mermaidy, which is why I had five. <laughs> so there's these love hearts, which are all iridescent and shiny and sparkly, and they have scales on them in a few different colours. We have some round ones as well in multiple colours. They're all in multiple colours, and then we have one lot which is basically blue and teal. And they're basically just a little flat. I mean, they're quite large for most people's uh, uh, That was my mum cooking. <laughs> um, one of the. Uh, Uh, one of the other things that um, I have used in my nails is like washi tape. I'll uh, show you a picture of the manicure I was wearing the day I went to the crafter, which had washi tape on it. Washi tape that looks like um, measuring tape. Um, but I saw this one and I really, really liked it. I thought that was really cool. And then there was this other one which is basically glitter washi tape. And it's, I got it in sparkly blue. They had a whole bunch of different colours, but this was, this was the colour that I bought. Sparkly blue. Um, also from this particular retailer, they had lots of, um, stick on craft gem type stuff. Now, often I buy the ones that are come in like the little circle things they're meant for nail art. Um, they don't stick on their own. These ones actually come attached to adhesive. So you can put like a line of them and it'll be a straight line and then you can cut it, which makes it actually a little bit easier. Um, but these actually say that they can be put on um, nail tips, like it actually says it on the back. So these ones are little tiny iridescent, might be really hard to see with the light, but they're little tiny iridescent pearl kind of ones. There we go. And then there's these blue ones that are around about the same size, the like gemstones. And then bigger ones that are a darker blue. But... 
And all of those, like this one was like a dollar for all of those. And these two were two dollars each for those. And then they have these packs, which I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packets for five dollars. I mean, there's not as many on them, but there's different colours. So they're all, these ones are gemstone, um, pearl ones. So there's like this greyish colour, um, I guess that's like, it's like a dark grey, that one. Uh, yellow, lavender-y, purpley colour, kind of a minty green, foresty kind of green, uh, pink, yeah, hot pink, um, a pale pink, verging on peach, and kind of a lightish blue. So all of those together were five dollars, which I thought was like really, really good. And then at a different stall, um, I picked up these two little things. This one here, they're like, um, I think it's plastic, but they look like little broken pieces of glass in different sort of sizes, and I think they'd be really interesting to create like a textured, icy kind of look. It was just really interesting. It wasn't the cheapest thing ever, but I don't think you need to use very much. It was like $4.50. But at the same place they had these, which is what really drew my attention. Again, they're just like stick-on jewel things, but these ones, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, they're kind of like a flower, so they have a little bit around the outside and then they have a bigger bit in the middle. I thought they were like really cool. And they were like $2.00. And then the last thing I bought was um, this set of nail foils. I'm, I have quite a bit of different nail foils. But these ones really drew my attention because they've got the oil slicky type ones down here. And then they've got this really cool, some really interesting patterns. Um, that was like $7 for that, but that's fairly normal for Jones Tones um, foils. I actually have some Jones Tones that I used to use when I was doing polymer clay, which I now use on nails. Um, and they're usually... I haven't, obviously I haven't opened it, so I can't tell you how big... like this big which is a lot of nail art <laughs> that's, that's an enormous amount of nail art because you usually only use a very small section to do nail art so it's not like it might that's the thing um, foils might seem expensive when you like buying sheets of them but generally speaking you're doing um, you get a lot of foil for your money So it is totally worth splurging on the good quality stuff. Um, and these are quite thin. You'll sometimes find you get foils that are a bit thicker. And they can actually be quite a bit more difficult to work with. So the thinner the foil is, the easier it is to actually work with, in my opinion. And it was kind of funny. The guy who was running the store, he's like, oh, do you need glue? And I just like, okay. Because uh, they weren't selling it um, intending for people to use it for nail art. They were selling it intending for people to use it in like paper craft type stuff. So, but that was kind of funny. Um, yeah, so that is everything that is in this haul. If there's anything you'd like to see a demo with or whatever, then leave me a comment down below and I will try to do that. Uh, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there or either there or there. If I put the card in, there'll be a little icon you can click to go sub, plus a couple of other videos. Leave me a thumbs up if you like whole type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.